Hey Royals, welcome back to Life Lessons. I'm Nardine. So, I'm still on the topic of leadership. I just want to read a few verses from 1 Samuel 16. So, 1 Samuel 16, verse 7, and 1 Samuel 16, verse 11 to 12. Verse 7, But the Lord said to him, Pay no attention to how tall and handsome he is. I have rejected him because I do not judge as people judge. They look at the outward appearance, but I look at the heart. Verse 11. Then he asked him, Have you any more sons? Jesse answered, There is still the youngest, but he is out taking care of the sheep. Tell him to come here, Samuel said. We won't offer the sacrifice until he comes. So Jesse sent for him. He was a handsome, healthy young man, and his eyes sparkled. The Lord said to Samuel, this is the one, anoint him. Samuel took the olive oil and anointed David in front of his brothers. Immediately the Spirit of the Lord took control of David and was with him from that day on. Then Samuel returned to Raman. And I conclude my reading. Now, leaders are chosen by God. And God will have his prophets and his prophetess anoint people for leadership. So no matter who believes in you or don't believe in you, you are called. You are called to a higher calling, to a greater purpose. And no matter how small you look, God does not look on how small you are, how poor you are, how battered you are, how torn you are. He looks at your heart. He looks at what's in your heart, what comes out of you, because what comes out of you defines you. There's a saying that says what comes out of you defines you, which is true because the things you say, the things you do, the way you treat people, if, if, if that's what's in you, that's what's going to come out of you. God does not look at the outward appearance. That's what he says in verse 7. He does not look at the outward appearance. He looks at the heart. And he does not judge as people judge. There are people who are in leadership positions who are not leaders. They are just there in the position. They have not uplifted anyone. They have not bring anyone into their calling. Let me, let, let me take, for instance, Elijah and Elisha. Elijah, he, he brought Elisha into the place of his calling. He took him everywhere he was going. He showed him things of the spirit. He showed him how to perform. He nurtured him. Right? He prepared him to take over from him before he was taken in a chariot of fire. He knew his time was coming to leave the hurt. And he made sure that there was someone to take on what he's leaving here on earth. There are people who would never do that. 
and even there are people who disobey God, the voice of God, just to please themselves, just to, just for you not to go any further in life. But it doesn't matter what they do, you're still going to walk in that calling. You're still going to be placed in that place that God wants you to be. You're still going to be a greater, even a greater leader than the ones that you see now that are there being disrespectful, being just being a terrible leader. And the word of God says, be harmless as a dove. And be cunning as a serpent, but it doesn't. It doesn't say be the serpent. And some of us will take on the serpent characteristics and be the serpent. But I'm saying you're set apart. You're set aside for greatness. So be as harmless as a dove. Live your life every day like a leader live it exemplary to everyone you meet lead someone into their greatness because someone led you into the place that you are god god ordained and 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 spoke to someone to lead you right and they led you so do the same for someone because what a lot of elders, even the church nowadays, don't realize when they have passed this earth, someone has to take up the responsibility. But who, who did they train? Who did they help to reach to that place in their life, in destiny, to take up the banner and run with it to train others? And I'm saying to a lot of people, you see how people treat you, people in leadership treat you? Don't treat anyone that way. That should be a lesson, a life lesson to say, the way they treat me, I will never go and treat people in this way. But a lot of people still do it. But when you come in contact with God, you would never ever want to treat people the way that others have treated you you would never want to see anyone you will be so overcome with compassion so filled with compassion you will never want to see anyone struggle or cry or suffer in any way so lead as example to others be a leader be armless as a dove don't take on the 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 serpent characteristics of being cunning and evil walk good take god with you shalom